This is the Hawk Tackle family of tackling dummies. It's designed to incorporate the shoulder or rugby style tackling technique. And the shoulder style tackling technique has been proven to reduce um, head injuries in football. So what we're doing is we're taking the point of contact from here and moving it to here using that lead foot and that shoulder on the hip. And that's what it's designed to do and reinforce and teach uh, for your players how to safely tackle with the head safe to the side using the lead foot for leverage. The first step in the shoulder tackle style tackling technique is to teach the kids how to tackle without their helmet and pads. So the first step that I like to do is put the kids on their knees and just get them that experience of having their shoulder hit that near hip. In this drill, we're gonna put two kids, we're gonna stand them in front of each other. The one, the one player is gonna go on his knees. The other player is gonna be here. He's not gonna give any resistance. He's gonna go down. This is our tackler right here. So what we want this tackler to focus on is exploding up so he explodes up here. He focuses this shoulder on the near hip. You'll stand a little closer. We don't want these two far apart, legs together. He wants his head to the side. And what we're focused on here, the coaching point is cheek to cheek. So he wants this cheek on this cheek. This shoulder on the near hip, he's gonna wrap and he's gonna roll. So he's gonna get that experience here without helmet and pads of taking a tackler to the ground. We want him to get the feel of that shoulder on the hip. Ready, go. Good, let's do it again. Down and explode up. Good, one more time, other shoulder. Another coaching point that we focus on here is head up. So head is critical. We don't want the head in this position looking down at the ground. We want that head up and eyes up. So we'll step, Ed, uh, JW, focus on your head up, eyes up, wrap and roll. Go. Good, well done, guys. Let's try it with the other shoulder. Again, what we're trying to get here is just the feel for this individual of the shoulder on the hip. Again, without helmets and pads, we want that feel of the shoulder on the near hip and that cheek to cheek. Go. Good, well done. In the next progression, after we've um, Work them without the helmet and the pads, getting the feel of the shoulder coming up and exploding up onto knees, is I like to keep them without their shoulder pads and helmet and move them to actually tackling the dummy. The dummy, the hawk tackle dummy, is designed to take the tackle from this position to this position, right here. So we've got a spot for that lead foot, that knee in the crotch, and we've got indicators for the shoulder on the hip and again, that cheek to cheek. So we're gonna do this right here. This is the shot that we want. Again, we're moving away from this. So what I like to do is I like to start them five yards back, again, without their helmet and their shoulder pads, and just get them feeling of that shoulder on the hip. Uh, one of the coaching tips that I like to do is I like to go ahead and tell them what side and then work with them on what foot, what lead foot and shoulder they're gonna use. So JW, I'd like you to tackle on the right side. What shoulder and foot are you gonna use? This shoulder, this foot. Okay, good. Let's see it, go. Good. Let's focus on getting this lead foot in here, knee in the crotch, okay? So let's work on that knee in the crotch, head up, go. Good, well done, buddy. Keep that head up. All right. Let's switch sides now. Good, good knee in the crotch. Let's try that again. Okay, ready, go. Good, good tackle, buddy. So the next progression that I like to do in the shoulder, teaching the shoulder tackle is again, with still keeping the helmet and shoulder pads off is the work on getting the players to feel the drive, that drive through the tackle. So the Hawk Tackle Dummy has, it can be held as well. So what I'll do here is five yards back, I'll have JW run again, 
Buddy, I want you to hit on this side. So what shoulder and what foot? This shoulder, this foot. Good, and what I'm gonna ask JW to do is to drive me back. And what I want him to do is get that feel of driving through the tackle. Head up, right, knee in the crotch, cheek to cheek. Ready, go. Good, good pop, good pop. Good, do it again. Good pop, bud. Good pop. Let's do it again. Now I want you to tackle this side. What shoulder? This foot, this shoulder. Good, head up, knee in the crotch, go. Good. Now I'm gonna move them over to helmet and pads and I'm gonna cycle through pretty much the same set of drills with them. So let's go JW, set up. I've got them straight ahead, five, five yards back. All right, buddy, I want you to tackle them. Stay low, head up, butt down. Ready, go. Good, good tackle. Good job, bud. Good job, way to drive through the tackle. All right, we'll switch side. So you're gonna go this side. What shoulder? This shoulder. What foot? This foot. Good, go. Good, good job. Now we're gonna work on a little bit of resistance and that drive through. What we want him to do is get the feel of meeting the ball carrier and then driving through the ball carrier. So I'm gonna progressively give him a little bit more resistance. I'm imitating the ball carrier coming forward. I want him to work on driving through that resistance and driving through the tackle. All right, you're gonna come this side. What shoulder? This shoulder, this foot. Good, head up, knee in the crotch, start low, stay low, go. Good, good pop, good drive. Good job, bud, way to go through that. All right, let's go other side, right? What foot, what shoulder? This foot, this shoulder. Good, head up. Good, start low, stay low, go. Oh, oh, did you switch, did you miss your lead foot? Yeah, come over, let's talk about that. When we miss the lead foot, so we, what I talk about that is we put the outside foot here and puts that through here. JW isn't gonna have the leverage, head up. JW isn't gonna have the leverage to stop that ball carrier coming through. So that ball carrier is coming through. That's why it's critical that we teach, switch your feet. Good, that knee in the crotch, that lead foot. Now he's got that leverage to drive the ball carrier through. So let's do it again. And if you notice on that bag, how I immediately knew was he didn't have any pop. You're gonna come this side, what foot, what shoulder? This foot, this shoulder. Good, ready, go. Good, good pop, good drive. All right, let's go. Now I'm gonna give him a little bit more resistance, right? A Little bit more resistance, make him work through driving through. Ready, go. Good, 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 good. Good, drive, 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 drive. Good, let's do it again. Ready, go. Good, good, drive through. All right, another coaching point. Sometimes you'll see this. When you give them that little bit of resistance, though some players will turn their hips to the side when they get that resistance, you don't want them. You want them to stay in alignment. You want their shoulders and hips together. Ready, go. Good, 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 good. You did good that time. Good, good job. I felt that pop. If you've been wondering what these black straps on the top have been for, uh, they're for fumble drills. So they fit a ball here nicely. You kind of want it a little bit loose so the ball pops out. But what you can work on are fumble drills. So JW is gonna come through He's gonna tackle, and then he's gonna look for the fumble. Are you ready, buddy? Good, go. Good, get the ball, get the ball. Track it, track it, track it. Good, good. Here we go, JW's gonna work on a fumble recovery drill. We still wanna work on our form, but he's gonna come through, he's gonna pop up, and he's gonna look for the fumble. Ready, go. Good, get up, get up, get up. Fall on it, fall on it. Good. Good job, JW, good job, way to go. One of the drills that I do here is um, it's towards the end of the shoulder tackle progression and it's the tracking drill. And uh, this is really where a lot of concussions um, happen. These are real high impact kind of chasing to the sideline drill and a lot of times players get their heads in the wrong positions. So what I do for my tracking drill is I, I set up a diamond drill right here. So I've got a kind of a left and a right side for the tracking drill. So right now I have this set up on the tackler's right side. But what I wanna focus here 
on this tackling drill when we're doing the tracking is the head on this side. So what we want is this lead foot on the near hip, right? This is the ball carrier's near hip. It's nearest to the tackler. So this is what we want, and we want him to take it down. So this is a primary focus point, and this is a great method and way to prevent concussions in football. So what I'm going to have JW do is line up here as if he's facing forward, and he's going to run to his right and track and make the tackle. You ready? All right. Start low, butt down, head up. What shoulder, what foot? Good. All right. Ready? Go. Good. Good tackle. Well done, bud. Good tackle. Head on the correct side. Foot. That lead foot, that near shoulder, and the knee and the crotch. Ready, buddy? Go. Good. Head up. Good. Good tackle. Good tackle. Now what we can do is we can switch sides. So again, it's a diamond drill, and I've got them tracking. Now I can set them up over here and have them track to the other side. Again, so now I want his head on this side right here. Ready, buddy? Set, go. Good. Good job, buddy. Let's try that again. Go. Good. Good job, bud. Good job. And what we're doing here when we make this tackle is we're using the ball carrier's own momentum against him. So as JW comes in, we'll do it with the pad, but the ball carrier is coming this way. JW, come in, come in. So you're going to take that ball carrier's momentum and use it against him, right? So that's the purpose. What we don't want, come around here, is for this head to cross the body, head up or head down, either way. What happens there is his head gets that impact. And that's where concussions are made. And nine times out of 10, come here, JW, put your head in the wrong spot. What happens when he makes that and experiences that concussion is he goes down and the ball carrier keeps coming through. So what we actually want to do is come around here, put your head in the correct position, use that ball carrier's momentum and take him down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it. Are you ready? And now he's going to feel the resistance of a ball carrier. Good, drive, 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 drive. All right, buddy. I actually don't want you to turn your hips. What I caught JW doing was JW was actually coming around and turning his hips this way. And I actually don't want him to do that. I actually want him to keep his hips and everything at his drive going this way. So he actually wants to take the ball carrier this way, use that momentum against him far less impact and far more effective. Buddy, you ready? Go. Good, good. That's the drive I'm looking for. So in this diamond drill, I can now move over here. All right. Ready, buddy? Good. Go. Good. Well done. Good. Let's do it again. I'm going to give you a little bit more resistance. Keep those hips and shoulders aligned. Ready? Go. Good, good. Drive through, drive through. Good, good. We're going to stay with the diamond drill here, but we're going to move to the hip pad. And what the hip pad allows me to do is to move left or right and give immediate positive feedback to my tackler about the placement of their head. And so what we want to do is as I move, here, this way, we want JW meet me with his head on this side. Good. That lead foot, get that foot in there. That's that foot that's going to provide the leverage and the drive. And I want him to drive me this way. I want him to take me and my momentum and take me this way. I actually don't want him, come around here, to try to square up and drive me this way. Right? That actually doesn't work. We actually want to use the ball carrier's momentum against me, and we want him to take me and take me this way. So in this diamond drill, I can go left or right, and I can work with him on recognition of which shoulder and which foot. Again, we've got the indicators for him what to do. All right, so I'm going to go to your right, my left. What foot, what shoulder? This foot, this shoulder. Good. All right, ready? Go. 
Go, go, trap, 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 trap. Come on, come on, keep drive through, drive through, drive through. Good, good. Remember, don't try to square your hips. Don't try and square your hips. Look at me. Take me this way. Take me where I want to do. If you try to turn and square your hips, you're going to miss the tackler. I'm going to make, right? I'm going to drive through you. You ready? Same direction. Ready? Go. Go, 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 go. Boom. Good. Drive through, drive through, drive through. Good. Let's do it again. Good job. One more time. Ready? Go. Go, 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 go. Good. Good job. Well done. Great job. That was a good one. All right. We'll go to the other side. What foot? What shoulder? Good. Ready? Go. Go, 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 go. Ah, bad. Bad. All right. That's why we do this drill. Come here. Come here. That's exactly why we do this drill. The minute we switch sides, his head went in the, right, the wrong spot, right? So this right here, that's concussion. That's the head taking all of my forward momentum. Boom. Right there. He's not going to make that tackle. He's going to get a concussion. What we want, switch it up proper. That's what we want right here. But that's why we do this drill. That's why we track them. Let's go. All right, what shoulder? This shoulder. What foot? This All right, split the defender knee in the crotch. Ready, go. Go, 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 go. Good. Good job, bud. Good. Good. Let's try that again. Go. Go, 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 go. Good. Well done. Perfect, buddy. Ready, go. Go, 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 go. Get that. Good. Well done. Good, good job. Well done. One of the next progressions of this diamond drill that I do is I don't tell JW which way I'm going. I don't tell the tackler which way I'm going. Now he's got to read and react. All right, ready? Good, good. Drive through, drive through. Right? Don't try to square those hips. Take me the direction that I want to go. Does it make sense? One of the coaching points is JW has to adjust his angle based off of the speed of the ball carrier. So it's actually good to adjust your speed a little bit and pressure your would-be tackler, right? So I'll give you an experience of that. Here we go. Good, ha! Huh? Right? So I gave him a little bit more pace and a little bit more speed. And JW has to adjust his angle to meet that pace and speed. So let's try it again now that you know it's coming. Go, 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 go. Good. Good. Keep that head up. Good pop. Good pop. Good pop. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my direction and adjust my speed. And now we're really taking it to a next level for JW. Ready, buddy? Good. 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 Nice adjustment, buddy. Good angle. Good angle. Well done. Good. Good. Way to meet the ball carrier. Way to go. Good job. Good read. Good read. Ready? That's one, buddy. Good, good. Make the adjustment. Good. Good, good, good. Good job. I'm in the same diamond drill here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move left or right, I'm gonna work with JW, and I'm gonna let him rip the hit shield to the ground. So, all right, JW, I'm gonna go my right, your left, what foot? This foot. Yep. This Good, all right, and you can rip this to the ground. Ready, go. Good, and this is actually the angle that we want. All right, we'll go this way. What foot, what shoulder? This foot, this shoulder. Ready, go. Go, 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 pop, drive, rip, good. Good job, bud. Go. Go, 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 go. Good. Good. All right, one more this way. Ready? Set. Go. Go, 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 go. Good. Good drop. Good pop. Good job. So the next and most advanced level we can do with this drill is I cannot tell him what side I'm going and make JW figure out what side I'm going. So what we need JW to do is to read and react and I'm not gonna give him any cues on what foot and what shoulder. Ready, buddy? Go. Good, good, good. Ready? Good, good, stay with it. Good, good, good job, buddy. 
The key to the shoulder tackle technique is that foot, that lead foot, that knee in the crotch, splitting the defender. That is the key to the shoulder style tackling technique. That's what you need to provide all that leverage to drive the ball carrier back and to combat that ball carrier's forward momentum. So one of the teaching tools and the coaching techniques that I use when I have a tackler who isn't picking up on the concept of that lead foot splitting the defender with that knee in the crotch is I actually use a hoop. So this is a half hoop and what I do is I put that hoop right out in front of the pad. And now what I tell the tackler is, come over here, JW, is I tell that tackler, stand over here, is to put that lead foot in the hoop, right? So put that foot in the hoop and it forces that tackler to get that foot where it needs to be. So JW, I'm gonna have you line up over here and I'm gonna have you run and get that lead foot in the hoop. Ready, go. Good. So see how that forced him to place, that's a visual aid to place that foot in the hoop. So let's do that again, buddy. We'll do it from the other side. And again, you want them to learn, some people, they're foot dominant. So they prefer to lead with a certain foot on all their tackles. Ready, go. Good, good, good job. Try that again, let's try it from the other side. Good, ready, go. Good, good job. This is a coaching uh, tool that I use to help um, young tacklers that don't wanna use their shoulder, they wanna reach and grab with their hands. Uh, so what I use is I actually make them hold tennis balls or something of that nature and go through the tackling drill holding a ball. So JW here is gonna demonstrate a tackler that doesn't wanna use his shoulder. He wants to reach out and grab with his hands. Ready, go. Good. See how he's reaching, his first motion is not to make contact with his hands. And what that does is that doesn't allow him to get that contact, that forward momentum that we need to be able to really counter the ball carrier's movement. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have JW use um, two balls. Set, go. And see how that forces him, he can't reach out and grab and it forces him to use his hands. Let's do that again. Set, go. Good, good job, bud.